So here we are again, and in this lecture what we're going to do is we're going to bring it all together. Essentially what we've got is we've got the audio already done, we've got the visuals already done, and we've got the lighting already done. Now, it's just a matter of tying each little bit together, and there is very little in that. As usual, I find, like I'm telling you this stuff, like I shouldn't be telling you this stuff, because I find it to be easy when you know what you're doing. Of course, I practice it, but I've given you all the information. I've given you all the research that I've done. I've shown you everything that I've studied, everything that I've brought together into one package. And this is just another step on that hurdle, okay? So essentially what we've got is, we've got my laptop over here, which is running the visuals on my MacBook Pro, which is connected to these two projectors, which are producing the visuals that you can see on the wall over here. We've got the audio setup that we've already talked through. We've got the S8, we've got our deck, we've got our MIDI controllers, the MPD-232, we've got our sound desk, which is connected to our PA system. You can see the speaker in the corner here. On the floor here, on my base bin, please excuse the mess, the place is an absolute state at the moment, but I just feel that that adds to the charm. I've got the beast. We haven't seen the beast up until now, and here it is, the beast. This thing got me through college. It is a MacBook Pro. It's an old generation. I think it's from like 2009. Hence why we call it the beast. The thing is absolutely held together with tape. There's still a tape holding the screen up. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Top Gear or our fan, but on the show in one particular episode, they took a Toyota pickup truck and they absolutely smashed it to bits. They could not kill the thing. It kept running. Hence why we call this the beast. This thing has got so many bounces off the ground, it's unbelievable, but it stays going. And this is all part of it. This is what I'm showing you. These two projectors, this beaten up old MacBook Pro. Okay, we've got a decent one over here, but outside of that, everything in here is done on an absolute budget, low budget. You can do this yourself. This is not the most beautiful room to actually do this in. You can see my beautiful curtains and the daylight that I've got outside to battle against with the lighting with the visuals and so on and so forth but we're just getting this done you can obviously do this in a much more beautiful setting than I can um, but over here on the beast we've got the lighting running so we've got this bringing up and down our visuals uh, excuse me our lighting which we can change the green the blue the white and so on and so forth we've got a preset manager running in the background I'm just going to drop the dim on those so it doesn't wash out the video on me okay that is connected via a network cable into the other laptop this is going to run Ableton Live also as well. That's running in the background. That'll start sync by itself. We press start on this, connected via our network cable across the Bonjour section. Resolume is running the visuals that you see on the screen. That's going to take an input from MIDI. It's going to trigger in the same time. That's going to kick off the audio as well, which is also getting fed into Ableton Live as live sound sources. We can stand behind the actual desk, we can run our audio while everything else runs in sync for us that we've already got programmed in there. We can play to our heart's content knowing that the lighting and the visuals that are going to be going on over our heads are in perfect sync with what we're doing on the audio so long as we perform to the best of our ability when we're behind the audio equipment. That's it. That's how it's all set up. We've talked through it all already. We've been through all the applications. We've been through all the individual um, setups in terms of the visuals, the lighting and the audio. That's how it's stitched together. That's how it's set up. There's nothing in here that you haven't been shown that you shouldn't understand at this stage. If there is, throw me some questions. In the meantime, that's it. This is now set up and ready to rock. The next thing that we're gonna cover is we're gonna get into the build itself. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip all of this out. We're gonna run a time-lapse video and you're gonna watch me put it all back together and it can all be put back together once you know what you're doing. Very quickly, I'm talking about an hour, maybe two, okay? And we're gonna watch that happen. That's in the next video, jump to it. Again, we're big into the fun end of things now. Once we have all of this set up and running properly, we're just gonna mash it all up and absolutely kill it. Bring your friends around, have fun, take this to the club. As I've shown you already on the demonstration reel, this can be absolutely massive. This is what they're doing, DJs worldwide, big clubs, big events. This is how this is being run, bigger hosts, bigger budget, that's the only difference between what I'm showing you and what you could be doing out there in the world. But like I said, bring your friends in, have some fun at home, have a session, sit around, a few drinks, lots of fun, great visuals, great lighting, fantastic audio so long as you do it right. It's all in your hands, I'm leaving you with it. See you in the next lecture.